Guess what this is? It's the one thing you won't need anymore. Check my trunk. Hey everyone, and welcome to Tech in Black. Today, we're checking out a device that could let you ditch your keys forever. This is the Wheelock Tuck A51 Smart Lock Cylinder. The packaging looks really solid, so let's open it up and see what's inside. The first thing we see is a pretty detailed instruction manual. It's nice that it has clear illustrations. We'll come back to this when we get to the installation. And here it is. At first glance, it looks and feels really high quality. Next to it, we see a small box with the accessories. First, we have three of these RFID key fobs. This is an alternative way to open the door. You just tap the fob on the lock. You can put them on your keychain or give the M to family members. Then, there's an extension piece for the inner knob. They even include the little screwdriver you'll need for it right in the box. Very nice. And now for the main event. The lock itself. Let's pull it out. The outside knob is where you find the electronics, but the inside part and the cylinder are solid metal. It has a great weight to it and feels incredibly sturdy. The lock runs on three AA batteries, just like it says on this little engraving. According to the company, a single set should last for a year, or about 8,000 unlocks. And to replace them, you don't need to take the whole door apart. You just need to unscrew one screw with the included key and remove the outer handle. It's very simple. The great thing about this lock is that it's a drop-in replacement for a standard Euro cylinder. So before you buy, you need to check two things. First, make sure you're getting the right cylinder type, as they also make versions for American doors. And second, measure your door's thickness, since the lock comes in different lengths to ensure a perfect fit. Here's the full kit, the smart cylinder, three RFID fobs, an extender, and all the tools. Everything you need is included. So, we're done with the unboxing. Let's examine the lock's mechanism. You can adjust the length on both sides. The core of the lock is this electronic module right here. It runs on three standard AAA batteries, which are supposed to last for up to a year, a common claim for these devices. The battery compartment is snug and feels securely locked. Then on the inside, you have the handle to open the door. This part is also adjustable and you can make it longer with the included adapter if necessary. Just a couple of steps left. We tighten the screws on the cover to protect the electronics and then secure the handle on the other side. Everything is done with the included key in about half a minute. To get the most out of this lock, you'll need the official WeLock app. First things first, make sure your phone's Bluetooth is on. In the app, just tap Add Lock and scan the QR code right on the cylinder. Next, you'll type in the secret code that's also on the lock's body. The app finds the device almost immediately, and after a quick pairing, the lock shows up in your list. Now that we've finished the preparation and length adjustment, it's time for the most interesting part, installing it in the door. The process is surprisingly simple and doesn't require any special skills or tools, apart from a screwdriver. First, we need to remove the old cylinder. To do this, we unscrew the single screw on the faceplate of the door that is holding it. After that, the old cylinder comes out easily. Now for the Wii lock. Make sure the handle with the keypad and fingerprint scanner is on the outside. If necessary, you can extend the inner handle using the adapter included in the kit. The Wii lock cylinder is inserted into the door from the outside. Make sure it goes in straight and isn't tilted. After that, we attach the inner handle from the inside and secure it with the included Allen key. Now for the final and most important step, securing the lock in the door. We take a screwdriver and tighten the central screw on the faceplate. And that's it. As you can see, no drills, complex tools, or calling a locksmith were needed. The entire installation took me less than five minutes. Let's get into the smart part, access management. In the app, you can flexibly manage access for other users. For example, you can issue a temporary key to a guest by assigning them a role and setting specific hours for entry. For yourself, you can unlock the door with a single tap on the screen. Next up is the PIN code. You can set one up in the app in just a couple of taps. You can make it permanent or a temporary one for guests or a delivery person that only works for a set period. You punch in the code on the keypad, you hear the click, and the door's unlocked. It's quick, responsive, and the mechanism is smooth. 
to lock it, just enter the same code again, one code to get in and out. In practice, you just walk up to the door, enter the code, and the door unlocks. But beyond the pin, there's an even cooler way to get in, the fingerprint scanner. Let's enroll mine. The whole process is handled in the app. You just go to user settings and hit add fingerprint. The app will now prompt you to touch the sensor a few times. This is pretty standard. It helps the scanner get a perfect read of your print from every angle. First touch, second, third, fourth, and we're all set. And here's how it works in real life. You just touch the sensor and it unlocks instantly. No keys, no codes, you don't even need to pull out your phone. And get this, you can save up to 100 different fingerprints, so that's more than enough for your entire family and friends. If you're not a fan of codes and fingerprints, there's one more, almost classic method, the RFID key fobs. There are three included in the kit, and adding them is just as simple. In the app, you select Add Card, then you scan the QR code printed on the card with your phone. You can also configure the settings, like choosing how long the card will remain active. It's a powerful feature for managing access, making it perfect for temporary passes without sacrificing security. The whole setup is very intuitive. But will just any card work? Let's test it. First, I'll use a card that hasn't been paired with the lock. I'll hold it up and as you can see, nothing happens. The lock doesn't react, which indicates good security. And now, let's take our registered fob. One tap, and the lock opens instantly. This is an excellent option for kids or elderly relatives who might find it inconvenient to use a smartphone or a fingerprint scanner. Simple and reliable. What happens if the batteries run out? No worries. Just grab any power bank, connect it to the emergency USB-C port underneath, and the lock powers right back up. Then you're free to punch in your code or use your fingerprint to get inside. It's an emergency power supply that makes sure you never get stuck outside. Simple and reliable. So here's my final verdict. First, the installation is super simple. Second, you've got four ways to unlock it. Third, you can create temporary keys for guests. Fourth, there's backup power through USB. And fifth, no more carrying keys. Honestly, the Wheelock Tuck. A 51 is a great and affordable entry into the smart home world. I've put a special link for you down in the description, so follow it to order yours. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the next one.